Yeah, so the last guy I went out with didn't like me standing around in a bathing suit in front of an audience. <laughs> Isn't Miss Galaxy a wonderful opening for the Hotel Dead? The whole world is watching. Estabelle's in the limousine. Have a great time in Tahiti. The host of the 25th annual Miss Galaxy pageant is Sharon Bell. Thank you, got to camera three formations right away. And a former Miss Galaxy winner. Well, I see Miss Galaxy as a perfect way for a young woman to further her education. They offer an amazing scholarship, and I really want to go to university. Also, I'm really excited to be representing Canada, my hometown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> These things look lethal. How'd you get them so long? <laughs> Classic and glue. Swimsuits, they are necessarily evil, of course. But if you can wear a swimsuit in front of millions of people, you can conquer the world. Not with hips like that. As we meet beautiful, talented contestants from the world over. What are you doing? You got a broken unit. I'm just putting in a new data scan imaging system. Superior pixels. Doing now in the middle of the pageant? Yeah, well, that's what the work order says. Hey, you think you can introduce me to Sharon Bell? I'm a big fan of her kick flicks. You see me tomorrow morning in my office, 9 a.m. sharp. Dickhead. We're coming back. Cue Sharon. And now we return live to Sharon Bell at the Parkham Hotel and the 25th annual Ms. Galaxy pageant. Welcome back to the Ms. Galaxy pageant. Let's hear from our six finalists. First up, Ms. England. As Miss Galaxy, I would use my skills as a translator to help promote understanding among the nations of the world. Je vous souhaite la paix. Minasa no ewa o onorishimas. I wish you peace. Thank you. And now, representing the Philippines. If I were chosen to be Miss Galaxy, I would fight for their rights of animals all over the world. Salama. Next, let's hear from Miss Canada. And now representing France. As Miss Galaxy, I would ensure the children of the Makes world... Makes me wish I single again. <laughs> Now representing the USA. Good luck. Screw off. As Miss Galaxy, I would fight passionately for the rights of minorities and women. Last but not least, Miss Germany. As Miss Galaxy, I would fight to end world strife and violence in our streets and our media. Violence in films must not destroy family values. And now, while the judges tabulate their final votes and the girls change into their specially designed evening gowns, let me take you on a video tour of the beautiful new Parkham Hotel, which opens to the public next week. It's one of the few hotels that still boasts their own pastry chef. Come on, Crane, not again. Time we come back here. Can't you keep him on a leash? It's clear. I want you to stop hanging over me, and that's an order. 
I don't work for you, Candy. I work for your father. Hop along. When we're finished, I want to get all your addresses and stuff, and then we can, you know, keep in touch later. Sounds great. Right. So, Maria, how does your boyfriend feel about you being in these things? Fine. And what does he do? He's in the army. No mercy. No surrender. No return. Don't tell me you're a fan. No comment. Hmm. Poor Mr. Crane. Stuck here like a sergeant at his post. I was never in any branch of the service. Well, you're ex-something, and it's not a cop. The creases in your pants are too sharp. Cops have a more rumpled disposition. Oh, really? Well, maybe I'm just the uh, retentive type. CIA. Look, it's no party for Candy either. I think she's afraid if she wins, you'll follow her down the runway. Yeah, well, I'm just doing the job I was hired to do, Miss Bell. It's not Lebanon, Sarge. You're just working Candy up. Look, why don't you smoke him if you've got him? Give her some room. I'll look after her. I promise. Yeah, I could use a cigarette. I'll be back before she goes on stage. Treasury? Nope. Aren't you nervous? I just want to get this over with. <laughs> Come on, where's your enthusiasm? Good luck, everyone. I can't believe you guys aren't dressed yet. Come on. Where's the beef? He's out for smoke. I'll have Daddy shoot him for desertion. You better wipe your lip. There's a trace of venom showing. Come on, girls, we gotta go. Uh, could someone do this? Could you help What the job am I doing if I can't even get you on stage on time? First, when you're done, I'll open it for you. Thanks, John. Sorry, guys, you need a pageant pass to get backstage. No, no, a pageant pass. I find this accepted worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back our six finalists in their beautiful designer gowns. Here you. Who will be the new Miss Galaxy? It's time to find out. Judges, the envelope, please. Our second runner up, Ms. England, Nikki Westhead. The name of the first runner-up is Kelly White, Miss Canada. Hello, David. Stop him. Now the moment we've been waiting for. And our new Miss Galaxy 1995, Isabel Leclerc, Miss France. Who 
are you? Bert Fox Jr. Just keep smiling. Dave? Who is that? Dave? Dave, where the hell are you? Uh, can we cut that pathetic music, please? What the fuck are you doing? Hey, man, he said kill the music. So, something's going very wrong here. Look, we cut to a commercial right away. Show is going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I am terribly sorry to interrupt this awful production. As you can see, all the girls are wearing beautiful gowns. I am in blue to match my blue eyes. To match my black shirt, I have a black gun. <laughs> Park a motel. We get a man's case with a gun. Please send backup now. Let's go. Get out of the building, kid. We got a hostage taking. No shit, Warner. retire to the penthouse where I will make clear my demands and if you have any doubts of my sincerity Systems up, I want this loaded. Sure, man. Like, what is it? It's the fail safe, okay? Just get it done. If I move a cowboy, I bust a calf. Just get rid of this guy. Lock it down. Punzel, Punzel, throw down your locks. We're locked, stocked, and cocked. You can begin your baton death march anytime. That's it. The hotel's completely empty. Everybody move. Come on. Get in.
Don't you think I would have if I couldn't? There really wasn't anything I could do, Les. They took over the theater while she was on stage. All right, Crane, stay on site. You'll act as liaison with the local police. Senator's plane leaves in 20 minutes. I'm sorry, pal. This should have been a walk in the park. Yeah. Crane? You know Candy's my only child. You'll have her waiting for me by the time I arrive, I know. I have every confidence in you. Thank you, sir. Confirm that one of the fatalities was Isabel Leclerc, Miss France, who had only seconds before been declared this year's Miss Galaxy. The identity of the gunman... <laughs> Now, I want you to patch into that hotel within two minutes of its arrival. And Zelinsky, ETF commander, when he gets here, I want you to make sure that he talks to me before he positions his snipers. Get me a communications officer who at least can dial the phone this time. Thank you. Are you in charge of this operation? Yes. yes. Who are you? Roger Stallworth, hotel. Not you. You. PC Nancy Paulson, communications officer. Sir. Well, let me lay it out for you, detective. I just want to ensure there's a Will somebody get this asshole out of my face? Hey, 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 hey! Paulson, stick with me. Come on. My father is very well connected politically. And let me... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man dies standing up has a tendency to make feet all oh, so grotesque. Did you know that? I shut up and get her jewelry. Everything, everything. Next. Bracelets. Should I rip it out? Suit yourself. Oh, such beautiful skin. Come on, bitch. instead of five because well you know it would have been a lot of trouble to get rid of her and uh since we can cover her I, I just thought that it would be you thought that's the problem okay i'm sorry i guess i fucked up yes you 
fucked up. Z report. Emergency generator is online. Copy that. Switching all command functions to backup power. Here we go, boppers! Oh, looks like somebody kicked out the extension cord. Most likely the hotel has an emergency generator to go independent. No kidding. Who are you? Crane. I was assigned to protect Candace Wilson. Miss USA. Daughter of Senator Donald Wilson. I think you and I better have a talk, Mr. Bodyguard. Come with me. Cal. We're running on internal power. I've rerouted the juice to the penthouse. It's on the same feed as the service elevator, the pool, kitchen, your outside corridor, and the control room. We have video, and the electronic locks are still solid. All we need now is room service. Let's make it a champagne breakfast somewhere very far from here. Penthouse out. Ladies. While you are going to remain our guests, my associates and I will make things as comfortable for you as possible. As a token of this, we've brought you each a gift. Simple, functional, and elegant. Mirror. This one is intended for Miss France. Each of these devices contains an explosive charge. If any of you leave the range of the other wristbands... Get my point? That's the one who called you baby hero. Threatened to break a cab. What the hell is that? It's Buster Cab. Those are, uh, mercenary terms. Sir, I've isolated him. Run a make on a pulse. Let's find out who this asshole is. Lips sharp. Like this. That's it. Run a check on this guy, Paulson. Not putting this into my baby could be diseased. Hey, it's a machine, man, not a lover. You should learn to tell the difference. Now, when's the last time you called 1 800 want sex? I'm running a virus check. Oh, well, no harm, no foul. Hey, this is really groovy, man. What do you think about chrome for the solarium? I think you should go try and find water for our tea, that's what I think. Pick a card, any card. Spell. Ace, high, or low? I don't understand. Ace card, high, or low? Ace card, high. Let's see. Ooh, bad pick. And you? voice ears. How about that? Just learn it. Deviate from the script. One word. A girl dies. Captain, 
Henricks. This is Sharon Bell. She's the host of the show. Miss Bell, are you and the other girls all right? The hotel is mine. Explosives have been linked to the intruder alarm system. Ten million dollars in diamonds will be delivered to this building in five hours. Or a new Miss Galaxy will be elected by process of elimination. Thank you. Miss Bell, can you let me talk to whoever's in charge of... Hello, there? who is this? Cut the crap! You know I can't guarantee delivery of 10 million in diamonds in five hours. If I might be so bold as to ask you to focus on the parking lot for one moment, please. Show your fear and don't bullshit. You're just the bodyguard. I'm the goddamn captain here. Impressive. It still doesn't alter the fact that I don't have ten million dollars in diamonds here. Then stop passing a hat around or get me somebody who can meet my demands. Get her out of here. Vic? Cappuccino, please. Captain, I think I found a way into the building. I tapped into the database of the company that built the hotel. Look at this. What is it? Dutch door. Contractors use it to get in and out of the building in the final stage of the construction. They usually install an exit with an independent alarm. The door is usually wired into the loop when the building opens. They're planning to do that this Monday. All we need is a security code. All the builders get it. Already done, sir. I know how to dial a phone. What do women and floor tiles have in common? If you lay them right the first time, you can walk all over them the rest of your life. <laughs> what are you doing? I've got to get out of here. Can't take this anymore. Shut up. Just shut up and sit still. We have to do something. Mickey's right. They won't hurt us if we give them no reason to. Tell that to Isabel. You're the reason we're here. You know, rich father. Then why did they take all of us? Because they want some of us to kill, that's why. Well, we just can't sit here. Hey, we're in. They're inside. I'm on it. Uh, Penthouse, we've got company. I don't understand. I kill several innocent people, threaten to blow up a building, and the police still don't take me seriously. Maybe taking over a beauty pageant isn't the best way to command respect. Yeah, but I... Just shut up. Senator Wilson made a fortune selling helicopters to the U.S. military during Vietnam. Since then, he's diversified. Offshore oil, Canadian lumber, South African diamonds. I don't make deals with terrorists. These guys killed two of my men. 
Ice, the police are just not cooperating. Take one of the ladies down to the lobby and put a bullet through her brain. Get a good splash against the window. It'll look good in the tabloids. Uh, look at the draw, pretty lady. Look, wait, I'll, I'll go. Oh, you're next. I promise. Now sit down. Sit down. Hey, Sakes. <laughs> you fucking moron! Stop the other one! Hey. Let the girl go. I will kill you myself. Get him out of here now. That's going to be one tough and bombing job. Effective. I must compliment Cal on his design work. <laughs> Total fucking cycle. Hey, I like that guy. It was beautiful. She blew like a firecracker on the 4th of July. Sick, sick, fuck! Have you ever seen a tiger kill? He doesn't do it for the meat. He does it for the blood. The snap of the bones, the screams. That's not sick. That's purpose. Can you sit down? Now, I've been killing people for longer than you've been alive, little girl. So if I was you, I would treat you nice. Now sit down and shut up. Crane wants to talk to you. Crane. Stop the nonsense, Crane. We know what this is about. The sharing of Senator Wilson's wealth. Now, I want him brought to the hotel, and I want him to make the handoff personally. Understood? How do you know this guy? How do you know this guy? I don't know if I do. Call you, Senator. Another few hours, we'll be home free. Yeah. Where's Q? He's looking for somebody. Not a bad idea. It's okay, Sharon. I'll be all right. She'll be ecstatic. Let this be a lesson, ladies. Cooperation will be rewarded. This way, Donald. Son of a bitch. Get over here. Get over here. I think I need to relax a little, don't you? Hmm? Don't leave any marks. Where I leave marks, baby, nobody will see him. Relax me.
Not yet. Not till I make you sweat. Spoiled little rich kid. They know my father will pay anything to get me back. Well, then hang on to that. Think about how much he loves you. <sighs> loves me. My father only loves two things. Ballots with his name on them and bank accounts with his name on them. Candy, you're his daughter. <sighs> I'm an accessory. He's forced me into these pageants since I was six. I've been Miss Dade County, Miss Orange Blossom. <laughs> didn't even want to be in this thing. Why didn't you say no? You don't say no to my father. You don't understand. No. But you're not like that. You're not helpless. Maybe none of us are. What? What were you looking at? Excuse me, I said, what are you fucking looking at? LT, cool down. That's me. Yeah, cool down. What'd you just say to me just now? What are you telling me? What'd you just say just now? You told me to cool down? Why not? There's a swimming pool a few floors down. A what? It's the best way to cool down, don't you think? You're not serious. <laughs> Why can't you be serious? I'm serious about staying alive. And your boss said that if we cooperate, we would be rewarded. Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Vic, don't do it. <laughs> you remember Cairo, huh? Forget Cairo. Shut up. Give me your arm. Okay. Let's go get wet. Watch them. If you try and run, I will stomp you into the ground. Okay. Little girls should not play with matches. After you, darling. Knight to King Five. Seti, make your move. You're a smart girl, aren't you? You know, when this whole thing's over, I'd be in a position to do a lot of wonderful things for a girl like you. Like to travel? Yes. You do? I, I've been to a lot of places. My line of work. Go ahead. We were in Nicaragua. Got a chance to go up to Costa Rica after it was all over. Great beaches, both oceans. So if you could go anywhere you wanted, where would you go? Anywhere, know. anywhere, where would you go? Uh, oh. Hawaii. Hawaii? What's wrong with Costa Rica? Not no, Hawaii, that, no, that's, that's good too. That's good. Come on, go ahead, the rest of it. Actually, um, I like my man to undress me. Oh, yeah. You do? Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Feel 
Feels good, right? Sucker. Best two out of three. Sharon Bell. I'm one of the hostages inside the Parkham Hotel. Get me the police outside right away. Beirut, Northern Ireland, Iraq. This doesn't say what he did, but I can guess. Sir, the station is rerouting the call. It's Sharon Bell from inside the hotel. Miss Bell, you okay? I could use a back rub and a hot rum. Other than that, I'm still breathing. Sharon, it's Crane. Hi, Sarge. How's Candace? She's fine. Thanks for asking. So are the other girls. May Lou and Isabel send their regards. Oh, my God. What are you guys doing out there? They got the building wires and they have automatic weapons on the doors. We can't get in right now. Well, then I can't get out. Uh... What can you tell us about the kidnappers? Six of them that I know of. Four in the penthouse and two they communicate with by radio. The leader was in disguise in the theater. He really has shorter hair, a scar over the right eye, no mustache or beard. <laughs> They've all got us wearing these explosive wristbands. Let's been deactivated. We gotta get you out of there right now. Hold on one second. Okay, what? Did you see any transmitting or computer equipment in the penthouse? No, just men with machine guns. There's a security control room in the basement. There's a uh, control room in the basement. They're probably set up in there. I'll need you to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And this is not your concern. Your concern is getting out of there alive. We need her inside. I'm not losing another life. No, just the lives of the other four girls. Guys, all this concern is making me feel warm and squishy. But I gotta go.
I want a shower. Everybody wants. It just wouldn't look good. So, how do you write my performance? Fabulous. How do you write mine? In the penthouse, you're cold and terrifying. And in here? <laughs> here, you're exquisitely terrifying. We have time. I've been away too long. I don't trust Vic with the girls. We'll have plenty of time in Rio. When I take you out of here with the diamonds, don't forget to scream. Get dressed. Icarus to tower. Icarus to tower. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Lieutenant almost popped you one, man. Sharon Bell's escaped. I think she's got my gun. Well, why the hell didn't her wristband go off? Because. Why? Because I deactivated it. You, you what? what? I gotta tell Oz. No, 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 no. No, no. Don't tell Oz nothing. Now we'll just find her ourselves. We'll just blow this bitch ourselves. You hear me? I want nothing left but a little red mist. You've obviously never seen her movies. What movies? Sharon Bell? She's like a Bruce Lee with boobs, man. ETA 97 minutes. Plus another 40 to drive. <laughs> Lieutenant, you didn't by any chance give her the activation code, did you? Of course not. Well, she knows it. Well, Cal can reprogram it by remote, though. Can't you, Cal? Sure can, dude. Are you sure it's activated? It's got 45 second delay and then boom. Pray, it's Sharon. Yeah. Pray, I thought you'd really reactivate my wristband. You gotta help me get this thing off. Uh, describe me. It's got a circular catch with two wires. Something needs my attention. Icarus, tower out. Now, if the catch is open, the wires will eject and they set off the band. So you have to find a way to keep those wires in place. Epoxy, wax, even a piece of bubble gum. That's a sewing kit. The thread. Thread. Okay, thread. Get it on a needle. But for Christ's sake, don't touch the needle to the metal. Run the thread over the edge of the band, down between the band and your wrist. Tie off the second wire the same way, but remember. Don't touch a needle to the middle. Okay, you're almost there. Uh, you have to tie the two wires together tightly. The thread will keep them in place. Now. Give me a minute. What? There's somebody next to. What do you want me to do? Knock. Okay. Open the catch. Oh, it worked, it worked. Good. out of here before I blow you away. Move! What the fuck 
is going on? Uh, uh, Greg, Greg, we got a slight problem here, Ross. Problem? I don't like problems. It's a minor problem. Sh Sharon Bell got away. Who let her go? Vic. Vic. You know, we're just having a little fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're dead. You pull that trigger, we're all dead. See this watch? See the little heart there? That's a dead man switch there, fearless leader. That's right, it's key to my pulse. Shh. Cal? Fuck with me and you're dead. That's right. If my heart stops beating, the whole joint goes out. You don't want that. He's right, he's got an ignition delay linked to... Can you disable it? Give me time, man. This thing's got more passwords than a fucking Get Smart rerun. <laughs> you have all the time you want. You have six bullets worth of time. to figure out a way of bringing this whole program offline. Okay. Now what I would like you to do is key it to my pulse. And make sure the program can't be changed. Done. Okay, now can you find the girl? No, but this hotel only has cameras installed in public areas. Seems we'll have to do a bit of recon. Zed, start in the basement, work your way up. The action back and forth, there it is. Hip toss from the corner. Ice. Ice, are you with Q? Yeah. It seems that Sharon has done an Audie Murphy. Leave Q with the girls and start looking for her. Now! You got it. I think Sharon got away. <laughs> what did the woman say to the man after she crossed the street? Who the hell cares? What was she doing out of the kitchen in the first place? Ah. Give me some chocolate. Raymond Ulysses Bryce, gun runner, drug runner, professional asshole. Yeah. Well, he's been in bed with the Colombians and the DEA. Sounds like he's playing both sides of the fence. And he's still alive. Captain, it's Sharon. Miss Bell, you okay? Sharon? I just thought I'd call. The rates are so good after 6 p.m. Must have just wanted to check. I just wanted to hear a friendly voice. Calling all cars. She's in the kitchen. Maria Strauss is working with him. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Well, we still need you to get to that control room. It's important. Hello? Hello? Hey, Sarge. Yeah? FBI? No. <sighs> Too bad. I used to have a crush on Ephraim Zimberless Jr.
end of the line, bitch. You think you're tough? Scream. You think you can fuck with me? Don't die on me yet. Not yet. Landed. He and his aide are being escorted over from the airport. You got anything? She's back. Oh. Are you there? What's your position? I'm just outside the loading dock. And you guys better sit down. 
I found a van filled to the roof with bombs. Uh, Miss, Miss Bell, what kind of bombs? I don't know what kind. All kinds. It's like a goddamn roadrunner cartoon around here. Control room is on the other side of the hotel. I need you to get there. Now you take this uh, hallway to the next intersection. And you go right. It's at the end of that hall. Oh, great, I'm so scared. If somebody told you you were gonna die before morning, what would you do? I'd move in with my ex-wife. I didn't know you'd been married. Do you still love her? No, but it would guarantee that night to be the longest of my life. <laughs> what would you do? Um, I guess I'd eat a ton of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. What flavor? Jerry Garcia. I'm a straight vanilla man myself. No kidding. Oh, great. I'm scared. Hey, Efren Zemblis Jr. would be proud. You sound like my agent. He's the one that wanted me to host this pageant. The same one that launched my career 10 years ago. Can you believe it, Craig? 10 years. He thought lightning would strike twice and all that, you know. Some lightning, huh? Uh, Sharon, you gotta get off the phone. Why? Uh, sometimes stray radio waves uh, set off explosive charges. Jeez. Hey, bodyguard, you better hear this. The van is parked next to one of the building's main structural supports. If there's enough explosives... Setting them off will bring the hotel down. Like a house of cards. Cal? I'm looking. I'm looking, man. Let me know when you find her. Penthouse out. Oh, man, where the fuck is she? She's in the control room. Deactivate the wristbands now. No, no, I can't do. Mine was changed by remote. Do it! If I don't, you're gonna kill me too? If you don't, computers will be the only thing you're ever into! Okay. Oh, I used to be a fan of yours. Shut up. Now pull a plug on that van. And the guns on the doors. Hello, Sharon. Nice to have you with us again. Why don't you come back to the penthouse? We all miss you terribly. Come back, please. What's that? Ah, uh, the screen saved. Sharon! They said if you don't come back, they're going to kill me. Sharon? Run! Sharon, if you're not back here in two minutes, I'll have Miss Canada skin like venison. Do you understand that? I'm counting. Ah! What the hell did you do that for? Shut up. Oh, man. 90 seconds. Ah! All right, already. Go, 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 come on. Oh. Come on, don't let me catch anybody without the flutcher. Fed's dead. Cops are on their way in. I find a safe place and hold up. If you read me, find a safe place and hold up. Sharon. Thank you, sir, master. 30 seconds till dinner. Ah! Q, take her upstairs and kill her. Now! No! Please! Yeah, you kill her first! Team two? We're in. Team three. We're inside, sir. No opposition, no sign of Sharon. I don't have to kill you. I just have to cause you enough pain that you'll wish you were dead. Before you gut Miss Canada, why don't you take a chunk out of Miss Wilson's face? Stop! Welcome home, Sharon. <laughs> don't! Q. There are police all over the building. It's over. It's far from over, Sharon. Oh. 
This is Osama. I found a hostage. Don't worry, pal. I'll get you out alive. All right? Follow me. We're there, sir. We'll be hooked in and hot in five. Punctuality. Kelly, reach behind me and get the gun. Hang on to it. The wristbands have been deactivated. Good evening, sir. Who's in charge of this operation? Uh, captain Hendricks. Captain? Well, he may only be a captain, sir, but he and his men have just secured the lower floors of the hotel. Where can I find him? He's in the ETF truck. Come along, Ted. Plane, you're fired. Seems we've come to the end of the runway. And just like any successful pageant only has one winner, any successful getaway only needs one hostage. Get up. Well, well, well. Seems like our little sleeping beauty over here has been busy. Ice. Kill her. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
and take the service elevator to the roof. No, I need him for cover. There's cops all over the building. Fine, then you could kill him when you get here. Come on. Move. Mr. Crane is no longer in my employ, Captain. I find his presence here unacceptable. He would... Now, Senator, this is the man who held your daughter, uh, Raymond Ulysses Bryce. Do you know this man? He ran a subsidiary of mine in Florida, a small shipping firm. Drug running? Yes. When it came to my attention, I took it up with the proper authorities. I, I never met Bryce personally. Uh, I understood he'd, he'd made a deal with the Drug Enforcement Agency, and later he was killed by the Colombians. Well, he seems to have recovered. I want the senator with the diamonds on the roof in, in ten minutes, or I take his lovely little daughter, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We'll beam him right up, Scotty. Take a look at the front of the hotel. He wants me in that? You're not going up anyway, Senator. I can't allow it. One of my men will go up, dressed like you. I'm afraid that won't be acceptable, Captain. The Senator's presence is compulsory. Icarus to tower. Tower to Icarus. Let's do it. Come on. I'm going to kill both of you. But you? I'm going to kill slowly. I'm going to pull your fingernails out and smile every time you scream. <laughs> Ignition mechanism is down. Damn. We've gone and done something clever. My men have orders not to interfere with you. How sweet. Senator, you'll carry the diamonds. Captain, Mr. Crane, you'll act as my shields. <laughs> Okay, hold it. Yep, okay. There. Oh. Wilson, we've got to access the terrorist computer system. They've got, they've got some kind of remote triggering device locked in. She's Poles. Hi. Oh. Oh, oh damn. That's far enough. Come, come. Come, come. Officer, Honey, excuse me. not now, okay? Listen, sir. Listen. I said not now. We're trying to save some hostages here, all right? We are the fucking hostages, you stupid pile of toad shit. Get down as low as you can. 
We wouldn't want to tempt any snipers, would we, Captain? You're a very paranoid man. Thank you for the escort, Captain. Welcome. Sorry, pal. Give me a gun. You made me dump it. Come on, Frank. You're getting ready to do something stupid, aren't you, bodyguard? Fix your hair, baby. Wanna look good for daddy. The detonation sequence has been initiated. Every time that heart beats, it delays the signal. So if the heart stops? It's not the heart. It's what it's key to. Chop, chop, Senator. We don't want to keep our host waiting. Go, go, go. None of this was necessary, Bryce. Not even the tried and true cry of, let the girl go? What kind of father are you? I'll tell you what kind. The selfish, ass-covering, no shit sticks to me kind. Just like you were as a partner. I paid you to take the risks. You sold me out! What happened? The DEA get too close? There was talk of an investigation. They wanted names. I didn't know any. You did. You gave me to them! And then you tipped off the Colombians? Luckily for you, I died in that raid. You have your diamonds, you've had your say. It's all about business to you, isn't it, Senator? Daughter, the diamonds, black ink, red ink. Well, you know what it's about to me? It's about loyalty, and you had none. So tonight, it's about blood. Starting with hers. Say goodbye to all that orthodontic work, Donnie. Uh, Raymond, we need her to get out of here. We need both of them. If your father had half the guts you have, none of this would have been necessary. Disabled the system. 
I don't know what that heart is monitoring. We've got to get her out of here, Sergeant. Her pulse is fluttering. Pulse. Pulse. Zelensky, what do you mean we can't kill him? I want to... got a dead man switch linking his heartbeat to the explosives Olson's trying to deal with it why can't we just drive the van out of the hotel the only thing keeping it from blowing is a signal from Bryce's pulse if they get out of range so there's no way to stop him no, we're gonna stop him Miss Bell he's not just walking away from what he's done it's Bryce It's not over till I say it's over. Not a wrinkle in a face, just a bullet in a temple. Remember that. Remember the dead man's switch. Don't fire until I give the word.
We're gonna go back to the penthouse and I'm gonna think. I'm gonna plan a way out. I always get out. Hit the button. The button! Nice and easy. Come on. Olson, Zelensky, stop the glass elevator. How? What do I hit? Uh, this? No, that's the PA system. Ah. Give me a gun. Give him the gun! You're kidding. The PA is part of the intruder alarm system. It's what they link the bombs to in the first place. The loudspeakers convert sound waves into electrical impulses. We just have to mask his signal with one of our own. Oh. Do it. It's silly. Do it! Boom. Louder. Boom. 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 Zelensky. Boom. 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 His signal is blocked. Boom. Brain, signal's blocked. You lose, Sharon. You come up against me, you lose every time. No question, no doubt. No contest. Candy, Candy, my dear, come with me. They want us to do a little thing for the cameras. No. Candace. No. Listen, about everything that I said, and I did. I understand. Thanks, B. Candy! Candy! Candace, if you ever need a bodyguard. <laughs> she doesn't understand. Crane, I'd, um, I'd like you to come back to work for me. Thank you, sir. I accept. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> now go fuck yourself. Candy. <laughs> Polite Canadian beat up a cop. Officer, I'm sure if we were to talk or something else, else from you know we have a chain of hotels? We have hotels in Florida, Tahiti. I can see you on the beach in Tahiti. Do you realize who my father is? Thank you. Somebody call my babysitter. Tell her I'm going to be a little bit late. I'll do it. I know how to dial a phone. <laughs> Captain, don't leave Zelensky down there. He's getting hoarse. Bombs are down, kid. Sappers disarmed them. In that case, don't tell him anything. <laughs> when it occurred to me I didn't know what was happening thanks hi Sarge so tell me Miss Bell Sharon please okay Sharon are all beauty patches this exciting <laughs> yeah I'd say this is about average well, looks like you're in the spotlight you'll be able to revive your career I'll think about it over a tub of Cherry Garcia <laughs> <laughs> there is one thing State I wanted Department. to I uh, provided security for VIPs traveling in hostile territories. I got invalided out after an incident in Sarajevo. That's not what I was going to ask you. Oh, really? What's your first name? I never give anyone my first name. 
Oh, oh, come on. Steve, Paul, uh, Adam, uh, Marion. Marion? Why'd you say Marion? No reason. Ephraim? Well, it could be Ephraim.